integrative psychiatry. In a recent blog, I talked about just how poor, on average, we are at treating the most common psychiatric disorder in the world, and that is major depression. We are no better indeed than we were 60 years ago. One of the reasons is that the diagnosis of depression is very heterogeneous, by which it has many, many, many faces. If you look at the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, 5th edition, that's the Bible by which we psychiatrists diagnose major mental illnesses these days, you can come up with 227 different combinations to give you but a single diagnosis of depression. For example, you can meet criteria for depression and not be able to sleep or sleep all of the time, not be able to eat or eat all of the time, not be able to sit still or not be able to move. Do they sound like the same disorders to you driven by the same physiological imbalances? Heaven to Merck and Troy, they do not to me either. And so part of the key then in improving outcomes is by customizing treatment uh, to your specific symptoms, but then also uh, your unique biochemistry. And of course, I have always preached uh, measuring that and we do that routinely. One of those subtypes of depression, about a third of our depressions, uh, the one wherein you can't eat, you can't sleep, can't sit still, weeping and a wailing, doomed despair and agony on me, take me Lord, I'd be better off dead, comorbid OCD, i.e. coexisting, obsessive compulsive disorder, panic, high anxiety, those conditions are known to be associated with high cortisol and low serotonin. And as such, not only in addition to measuring those, I intervene at that level. It is no accident that one of the reasons we have such good data with adding fish oil and vitamin D3 to an existing antidepressant, or just using them by themselves, if used with a serotonin uh, supporting and enhancing supplement, is because fish oil and vitamin D3 improve mood and cognition by increasing serotonin manufacture production and utilization. For example, you can't make serotonin, your principal anti-anxiety, calming, antidepressant neurotransmitter, you can't make it if you don't have sufficient levels of vitamin D3. Likewise, even if you make it, you can't utilize it properly unless you have proper levels of omega-3 fatty acids, those found in fish oil, for example. This blog gives you a little bit more detail and discusses some of the products then that I use, including fish oil, vitamin D3, and then our best serotonin support product, Seracore, right here, take that at night. Fish oil, I take twice, two, twice a day with food, usually with fat. Vitamin D3, 5,000 international units. I take that just once a day. That is actually then very much a core part uh, of my supplement regimen for myself, but then so many of my patients as well. All right, read more about it at integrativepsychiatry.net. Uh, give us a call. Um, write us an email. Contact us in some way. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, this is Dr. Dave. Thanks for tuning in.